in. Oh, George, we've got company. And now meet the people who live in the Burns house, George and Gracie. Well, by this time of day, George is usually home from the office. But today he's working hard and late. Let's look in at George's office and see what's detaining the little beaver. <laughs> ah, well, I'll never get this work finished. Now, let's see. Where was I? Oh, great, great. There he goes again. Who, who is that broken down hoofer upstairs? <laughs> Now, let's see. Where was I? Hey, stop dancing up there. Oh, you keep quiet down there. Smart guy. You wanted to see me, Mr. Burns? You're darn right I do. You're the manager of this building. Tell that jerk in the office above me to stop dancing. I'm trying to get some work done. Yes, sir, Mr. Burns. I'll speak to him right away. Excuse me. May I speak to you, Mr. Astaire? Why, sure, come in. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Astaire, but your dancing is disturbing the party downstairs. Say, who is that old sourpuss? <laughs> well, well, you know, whoever is, he's got a nerve complaining. You tell him that when he sings Ain't Misbehaving, it sounds like plumbing that's out of order. <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell him that. All right. Tell him it sounds like plumbing that's working. <laughs> but, Mr. Astaire... Now look, I rented this office to dream up some new routines and hold tryouts for a new dancing partner. Now, go down and tell old Gravelthroat to go home. So he doesn't like it when I sing Ain't Misbehaving, huh? No, sir. Well... Look, if he doesn't stop dancing, I'm going to move out of this office building. Oh, please don't do that, Mr. Burns. You've been with us a long time. You bet. And if you move out, we'll lose all that back rent. <laughs> Go. Now, let's see. Where was I? Ain't misbehaving all by myself. Ain't misbehaving. Oh, hello, darling. What? George, look, your high notes are so strong today, you're knocking the plaster right off the ceiling. That's not me, Gracie. There's a guy in the office above me who thinks he's a dancer. Uh, oh, great, great, great. There he goes again. He's been doing that all day. He's driving me crazy. Oh, now, George, don't be upset. Feel sorry for him. You can tell by listening that he's obviously some poor old feeble trooper trying to get back into vaudeville. <laughs> I guess so. Remember when you danced in Vaudeville, darling? Sure. They used to call me Twinkle Toes Burns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How, how you used to wear out your socks dancing. You know, it seems like I was always knitting you socks. That's right. <laughs> Remember the first pair of socks I knitted you? <laughs> you thought they were sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never did wear them. They, they were too small for your feet and too big for your chest. <laughs> Well, you better run along home, sweetheart. I'll be working here at the office till midnight. Uh. Ain't misbehaving all by myself. Ain't misbehaving. Oh, my goodness, George. I'm glad your voice isn't as flat as his feet. Mm. You said it. I think I'll go up there and punch that guy right in the nose. Oh, now, George, please. You don't know your own strength. Hmm. You'll lose your temper and take a swing at him, and the first thing you know, there'll be some teeth knocked out. You need all you've got. <laughs> but, Gracie, I've got to get my work done. Well, I'll go up and talk to him, dear. You get to work. Gracie! Well, Tootsie Sagrell, what are you doing in this office building? I'm looking for a job, Gracie. You see, I decided to give up men. <laughs> give up men? But, Tootsie, this is leap year. And if I ever saw a girl with kangaroo blood, it's you. I don't care, Gracie. I've decided to have a career instead of a husband. Oh. Well, maybe you're wise, Tootsie. 
A career can't break your heart. A career can't go out nights and play poker. Yeah. But there's only one thing. On the cold night, you can't warm your feet on your career. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Oh, hiya, girl. Oh, hello, Bill. Oh, hello, Tootsie. Say, is George in his office, Gracie? Oh, yes, Bill. Oh, but before you go in, listen to the news. Well, tell him, Tootsie. Well, Mr. Goodwin, I'm not running after men anymore. Oh, really, Tootsie? Got yourself a bicycle, huh? <laughs> oh, Bill, you're just jealous because Tootsie is going to have a career instead of marrying you and raising a bunch of little good ones. <laughs> well... <laughs> Gracie, with Tootsie as their mother, I doubt if there'd be a good one in the bunch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you two will excuse me, I have to go upstairs and tell the man in the office over George's to stop dancing. He's disturbing George. Disturbing George? Gracie, do you know who that is up there? Who? Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Well, sure, he's holding tryouts for a new dancing partner. Oh, my goodness, and I... Tootsie, your career. <laughs> You're going to be Fred Astaire's new dancing partner. But, Gracie, I can't dance. Oh, don't be silly. If Fred can dance so wonderfully with his tiny feet, you'll be four times as great. <laughs> Jimmy Cash sings the delightful ballad from Showboat, Make Believe. Jim? We could make believe I love you Only make believe that you love me Mind in pretending Couldn't you, couldn't I, couldn't we Make believe our lives are blending In a phantom kiss for two or three Stairs office, Bill. I'm glad you told me he's looking for a new partner. Goodbye. Well, now, wait a minute, Gracie. I didn't want to say this in front of Tootsie, but Fred will never hire a girl with a puss like hers. Well, Bill, Mr. Stair is looking for a dancing partner, and Tootsie dances on her feet, not her face. <laughs> you know, one look, and he ain't going to believe that. <laughs> well, anyway, he's not going to see her until after he's hired her. You mean he'll hire Tootsie just on your say-so? Well, of course. You see, Fred is a very good friend of George's, and he'll be glad to do a favor for... Oh, my goodness. What if he finds out it's George who's trying to have him thrown out of the building? Well, Tootsie will have no career. No, that's right. And Fred needs a partner like Tootsie. She'll be such an improvement over Ginger Rogers. <laughs> Grace, are you kidding? Why, Ginger Rogers has the most luscious, the most gorgeous figure you've ever seen. That's just it. Now when Fred dances with Tootsie, people will watch him for a change. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, I'll make certain he doesn't find out that George has the office under him. Goodbye, Bill. Goodbye, Gracie. Good luck. Now listen, if you don't like my dancing... Oh, oh, oh Gracie! Excuse me, I, I thought you were old gravel throat from downstairs. <laughs> Oh, gravel throat? Yeah. Some guy in the office below has been heckling me all day. Well, come on in, Gracie. How's George? Oh, gravel throat? I, I mean, George? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Say, where does George have his office these days? His, um, 
office? Yeah, well, where does he hang out? Oh, oh, just above the waist a little. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, where is his place of business? Where does he work? Oh, work? Yes. Yeah. Well, so much for George. <laughs> now, le- let's talk about you. I understand you're looking for a new dancing partner. That's right, I am. Well, your troubles are over. Gracie, you mean... Oh, why, that's wonderful. You'll be great. Oh, no, not me. My goodness, Fred, I haven't danced since I was a little girl. Little girl? Gracie, you danced in a picture with me about four years ago. Well? (laughs) Oh, yes, of course, you were just a little girl then. Oh, (laughs) collateral. The partner I have in mind for you is Tootsie Sagwell. Sagwell? Yes. I- is that her name or her condition? <laughs> no, Fred, that's her name, Tootsie Sagwell. Oh, she'll make a wonderful dancing partner, Fred. Really? You know, I, I, I'm looking for, for someone different, someone fresh. Well, Tootsie's the freshest girl I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I want a partner who'll give me fresh ideas for dancers. I, I'm looking for new wrinkles. That's Tootsie. <laughs> she's, uh, she's really different, huh? Like nothing you've ever seen before. Well, how about Tootsie's dancing? Could she handle a little step like this, for instance? Let me see. Ain't this behaving all by myself? Well, there goes old gravel throat again. Ain't Mr. Haven. <laughs> Quiet. That does it. This concludes. I- I'm going down to his office and meet him face to face. Oh, no, no. You, you won't like it. What? I mean, why argue with him? Why not come to my house and rehearse? Well, it, it's, a, it's a cinch I can't work here, and they won't let me dance in my apartment. Well, you come right on home with me. Well, okay, Gracie. Oh, wait. Before we go, just one little farewell for old gravel throat. You'll go crazy waiting for the rest of it. Well, here we are, Fred. You can rehearse in the room just above this one. It's George in my bedroom. Oh, you, you, you sure you won't mind my dancing in your bedroom? Oh, no, George and I never dance there. <laughs> and besides, George went from home for hours. Okay. The uh, the room right above this one, huh? Yeah, that's right. First door to the left at the top of the stairs. Thanks, Gracie. Well, it looks like Tootsie will have her career. Hello, dear. Why, uh, George, what are you doing home? I couldn't work at the office with that dancing going on over my head. <laughs> Driving me crazy. It uh, was? Yeah. I can still hear it ringing in my ears. <laughs> what? What was that? Uh, uh, oh, what was what there? That uh, dancing, didn't you hear it? No, no, I didn't hear anything. goes again. Don't tell me you didn't hear that. Not a sound. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Maybe it's affecting my hearing. Gracie, shout in my ear. Shout as loud as you can. George! George! Are you shouting, Gracie? I'm screaming my lungs out. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm as crazy as a loon. I better go up to our bedroom and lie down. Oh, no. Oh, wait till I get him out. Huh? I, I mean, uh, uh, you, you wait here. I, I'll fix the bed. Mm, Fred, you have to leave right away. Why? Well, um, uh, uh, my mother has a terrible headache. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go down and apologize to her. Oh, no. You see, uh, she doesn't like men. Uh, she hates men. Uh, she can't stand the sight of a man. Well, wh- what about George? That's why she doesn't like men. <laughs> Say, uh, I-, I know where I can rehearse. Uh, there's a room above Stanley's Cigar Store. Stanley Cigar Store. That's a wonderful place for you to rehearse. You slip down the back way, and I'll see you later. <laughs> 
Judd, do you still hear the dancing? No. I still feel kind of shaky. I think I'll go out and get a little fresh air. But that's a good idea. No. Yeah. I think I'll walk down to Stanley's cigar store. <laughs> cigar store? Oh, George! <laughs> Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Burns. Hi, Stanley. Oh, say, you don't look very well. You're pale. Yeah. I don't feel so good, Stanley. Hmm. Let me have three Perfecto Royal cigars. Here's your nickel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Burns, wouldn't you rather be pale than green? <laughs> very funny. Let's have the cigar. Uh, I'll have to get them from the back room. Why Why do you keep my cigars in the back room? <laughs> oh, Mr. Burns. <laughs> what a day. I can still hear that pounding in my ears. Oh, no. No, not that. Stop it. Stop it. What is it, Mr. Burns? What is it? What's the matter? Oh, you wouldn't know. You can't hear it. Only I can hear it. It's in my head. I'm going nuts. I told him to stop smoking those cigars. <laughs> Time for Felix Mills, Miss Orchestra, with Jerry Berry Bay. Become Fred Astaire's new dancing partner. How are you feeling, George? Much better, dear. I guess I'll get up. Oh, no, you must stay right here in bed. But I think I can get up. I'm not hearing things anymore. <sighs> There's someone at the door. There is? Didn't you uh, hear the, the buzzer? No. Fred, didn't you hear that? Poor George. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, it's back again. I could have sworn I heard it. Oh, there's the telephone. Huh? <laughs> the telephone, didn't you hear it? No, I didn't. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, Jane. I better answer it. Holy smoke. I guess I better stay in bed. Well, at least I don't hear that dancing anymore. Well, just be quiet, dear. You will. <laughs> Oh, hello, Fred. Hello, Gracie. Oh, quick, do a little step. Okay. Oh, Gracie! Well, who was that? Well, th 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 that was Mother. <laughs> your, your mother sounds a lot like George. Yeah, doesn't she, though? Mother even looks like George. <laughs> that, uh, that must be tough on your father. <laughs> yes. Well... Tootsie will be here any minute now. I'd better turn out the light. Turn out the light? But then I, I won't be able to see her. That's the idea. Yeah, oh, I mean, <laughs> the idea for a new dance. A dance in the dark? Yes. Yeah. Why, that... Say, wait a minute. Maybe you've got something. I can see a swell routine. Uh, neon lights on our feet. Oh, sure. And you can hide the batteries right in Tootsie's shoes. Great. And then after... <laughs> Hide the batteries in her shoes. What what size shoe does she wear? Oh, don't worry. Your feet will match perfectly. Gracie, what size shoe does Tootsie wear? Well, uh, what size do you wear? Eight. 
Eight on each foot? <laughs> Naturally. Oh, see now. Eight and eight are sixteen. Yeah, your feet will match perfectly. But Gracie. Oh, I can just see you and Tootsie dancing together. Dancing cheek to chest. Cheek to chest? Is she that short? No, you are. <laughs> you know. I don't want to seem suspicious, but Tootsie is beginning to sound just the teensiest little bit ghoulish. Oh, you you love her. Oh, there she is on the porch. Now grab her as she walks in. I'll switch off the light. There. Okay. Okay. I got her. <gasps> no, turn turn the lights on. It's another man. <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon, Miss Sagwell. Shall we dance? Oh, I'd love to, Freddie. Hold on. Whee! Well, uh, uh, are you dancing, Fred? I don't hear any tap. It, it's rather difficult to tap unless Miss Sagwell will allow my feet to touch the floor. <laughs> oh, Tootsie. Don't hold him so high. And not so tight, Tootsie. Yes, Tootsie, you must be gentleman, Mr. Lester. He's sure this tight. You know, agile but fragile. It's no use, Gracie. I've got to see Tootsie to dance with her. Turn the lights on, please. Mm, all right. Now, can you see her? Turn them off. <laughs> but, but, Mr. Astaire, aren't we going to trip the light fantastic? I'm afraid not. Now that it's light, you're too fantastic. <laughs> Out here. Oh, it's George. Goodbye. It's Fred Astaire. Hello, George. What are you doing in that nightshirt? Oh, I've been in bed. Some jerk in my office building almost drove me crazy today. <laughs> That's funny. Some jerk in my office building almost drove me crazy today. Really? What building are you in? What are you? Yeah, uh... you two jerks mustn't get together. <laughs> Uh, what? Uh, I say, you, you must get together. Uh, George will be a wonderful partner for you, Fred. Uh, you have rhythm in your feet, and George has rhythm. George does a sensational rumba. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I could sing a little song, too. Uh, get a load of this, Fred. <clears throat> Ain't misbehaving all by myself. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? <laughs> Ain't misbehaving, I'm happy on the show. Gravel throat. <laughs> huh? Well, um... There goes another partner. Gravel show? Gee, Fred, and that was you in that office above me. Had I known, I wouldn't have complained. Well, George, if I had known it was you in the office below, I wouldn't have annoyed you with my dancing. Oh, Fred, I love your dancing. <laughs> well, thanks, George, and I love your whatever it is you do. <laughs> Gee, Fred, you can dance over my head any time. Oh. Thanks, and then you can sing under my feet any time. Gosh, Fred, you're top. No, George, you're top. Oh, no, boys, boys, I hate to interrupt, but Valentine's Day was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs>